Lottie glanced around the impressive ticket hall of Vienna's South Station as they waited for Barty's train. A grand stone staircase stood at one end of the hall, and the windows and lamps were ornately styled. Rosie excitedly tugged on her lead, keen to greet the travellers and porters passing by. Mrs. Moore stood next to her, glum-faced. Lottie could understand why her employer felt despondent. She'd been given sudden responsibility for a wayward nephew, and there'd still been no word from Prince Manfred. The ticket hall began to fill up with people who'd just arrived on the four o'clock train. Lottie scanned the crowd for Barty's distinctive bouncing gait. I think I shall write to Lucinda and tell her I can keep an eye on him for only three days, said Mrs. Moore. That would be fair, I think. I feel I have to establish a limit. Otherwise, how long will I end up minding him for? It can't be indefinitely, that's for sure. They remained in the centre of the ticket hall as people around them embraced loved ones, chatted excitedly, and issued instructions to porters wheeling their luggage. After a few minutes, the noise around them subsided. I might have known he'd keep us waiting, said Mrs. Moore. What's he doing? The ticket hall was almost quiet. By the time Barty bounced towards them, a porter in tow. The young man wore a cream and beige striped suit with a matching waistcoat and a boater hat. Beneath the brow of his hat, his hair flopped into his bright blue eyes. He gave them a broad grin when he spotted them. Auntie Roberta, my favourite relative. He pulled off his boater and held out his arms as he approached Mrs. Moore. Before she could respond, he gave her a strong hug. And Lottie, he said, still beaming after the embrace. Goodness, you look all grown up now. The last time I saw you, you were a young girl in a maid's uniform. How long ago was that? A few years ago? It was Christmas when I last saw you, Barty. Six months ago. Is that all? Well, doesn't time fly? Despite Barty's reputation for mischief, Lottie couldn't help liking him. She found his company entertaining, and at Fortescue Manor, he'd always been respectful to the servants. She suspected his rebellious streak was a response to his father's strict ways. Come along, Barty, said Mrs. Moore. Let's get you to the hotel. Why are you looking so sour-faced, Auntie Roberta? It's not like you, because you've been misbehaving again, and you're here in Vienna as a punishment. It's not a punishment if I'm here with my favourite auntie. 